Hello guys, my name is Erickson. Uh Welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to be showing you, you guys how to do this cool effect. Alright, let's hop into After Effects and get to it, yeah? Alright, first bring in your clip and go to the part where you want to add the shake. For me, it's going to be right here. Go to the first clip, press P on your keyboard to bring up position. Oh, no, not P. Press S on your keyboard to bring up scale. Put down a keyframe and go to the beginning or the end right here. Go backwards, five frames. One. Go backwards, five frames. One, two, three, four, five. Then put the keyframe there. Go to the end and scale this up to about 290. Yeah, 290. Highlight those keyframes and then press F9. Or you can highlight both keyframes, right click, go to keyframe assist, easy ease, or F9 for the shortcut. After, uh, after you've done that, state highlighted, come right here to this graph bar right here. Let's zoom in real quick and just do what I do, just this simple edit. Just take this one and bring it down like this, just like that. After you've done that, let's zoom out of here. We get something like that. A little, like, a little zoom in, it starts in slow and then goes super fast while, um, as, as it goes down. Go to your second frame or your second clip. Press S on your keyboard for scale. Put down the keyframe, move it back a couple of frames and zoom this also up to like 290, 280. Highlight the keyframes, F9. For easy ease, go to the graph and do the same thing but the opposite so bring this one and like this so it comes in fast and then just slows down like that okay then you get something like that zoom in zoom out it's a little boom boom, boom. okay so you've done that go to this one right here we're gonna add a shake go to this one press p on your keyboard put down a uh, put down a keyframe bring it back a couple frames and then in the beginning, move this, move your clip down, just like I do. Just move it like to the side like this. Boom. Go one frame, go forward one frame, then move it like zigzag. Another frame, go down. Another frame, go down. Don't worry about the black ed black edges. After you've done one, two, three, four of them, that should be enough. Move like over in here. Bring this over here move this like that something like that then f9 for easy ease then go to effect and presets and we're gonna be adding that uh, we're gonna be adding the effect called motion tiles that's gonna get rid of these black um, black edges or whatever look up motion tiles and drag and drop that on your second clip go to output width and put that at 500 go to output height put that also at 500 and mirror edges and see that gets real the edges then you got something like that let's let's watch this real quick preview and drop the sound something like this oh wait let me turn this one off too and you get something like this cool right wait we're not done yet the last effect we're gonna add is motion blur. Come over here to this um, to this number right here and click that on. Click it on. Go to your clips and uh, apply the motion or turn on the motion blur with these ones. If you don't see them, there's a toggle down here. There's a here. I'll show you guys this thing right here. You press that. Like if you don't see it here, you press it a couple of times until it pops up and then we enable motion blur. Okay, and then you get something after that, you get something like this. A simple shake. Let's, let's bring in the audio and see. Um, this is one of the music videos I shot back then. But yeah, let's see how that looks. Marco Polo Navy. Uh, Honestly, I'm a Yeah, something simple like that. And you're done. Like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.